Kroger Tender Ray Beef, no other beef so fresh can be so tender, presents Hearts in Harmony Transcribed. K is for Kroger, C is for Cut, B is for Beef. KCB means Kroger Cut Beef, and Kroger Cut Beef means more meat for your money. It's a fact, ladies. The Kroger Cut, by the ruler, assures you more meat, less waste. Before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef by the ruler removes excess bone, excess waste, and stringy ends. Yes, that's before the meat is weighed and priced. So you can see that means more meat for your money. You get top U.S. government grades of beef, meat that's tender, juicy, rich red, and marbled with just the right amount of flavory fat. You get a better value in top-grade beef. For example, when you buy a Kroger-cut porterhouse steak, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes the long, stringy end and excess waste before the steak is weighed and priced. You don't pay steak price for stringy meat and excess waste. Remember, whether you buy a steak or roast, you receive more meat, less waste. But see for yourself. Visit your neighborhood Kroger store. Get Kroger-cut beef and get more meat for your money. And now, hearts in harmony. It's quiet in the Gibbs home today. For yesterday's excitement, the wedding of Nora Williams and Freddie Lang is over. Nora and Freddie are away on a brief honeymoon. The children are sleeping. Jed is busy in the sunroom at his drafting board. And Penny is resting in the living room as her mother says, You feel better today, don't you, Penny? Yes, thanks, Mother. A great deal better. But I am ashamed about the way I acted at the wedding yesterday. Oh, you don't need to be, darling. It's over in a minute. Everyone understood. I know, but I promised myself there wouldn't be any tears. Oh, you had your tears on the porch. No one even knew you'd cried. Johnny did. But you were cheerful when you and Johnny came in again. Oh, thanks to Johnny. Sometimes I don't know how I'd manage without him. (laughs) He's always around when you need him, isn't he? Mm Mm-hmm. He seems to be. He is. Yes, he is. I guess I feel guilty about it. Oh, Mother, he shouldn't spend his life just standing around for the few times I need him. He's not being fair to himself. Well, he's doing what he wants to do. He's keeping a promise I think he made you some time ago, that whenever he was needed... Oh, I think a car stopped in front of our house. Yes, I think I heard it, too. You expecting anybody? No. Can you see from the window who it is, dear? Mother, it's Mrs. Carlton. Barry's mother? Coming here? Yes. Mrs. Carlton's coming up the walk. Mother, what do I do? I can't see her. Yes, you can, Mother, darling. she'll want to talk about Barry, and every time I think about him, I want to cry. But you must see her, Penny. She's an old lady, and she doesn't come out except for something... Sp- do you want to answer the door, should I? Mother, you answer to her. I'm not in. Please. No, her. darling. If she doesn't see you now, she'll see you later, and putting it off won't help. Mother, I wish you'd understand and let me see you some other time. Nonsense. Good afternoon. I'm Carrie Carlton. Well, how do you do? I'm Grace Billings, Penny's mother. Oh, yes. You're just as I imagined. It's so good to know you at last. Is Penny home? Yes, she is. Come on in, Mrs. Carlton. Thank you. I know it's not proper to come unannounced this way. That's quite all right. It's not right at all. But I was just driving this afternoon. I decided something. And so, I decided to take care of it right away. Well, you're most welcome here at any time, Mrs. Carlton. Penny, Mrs. Carlton's here to see you. Hello, Mrs. Carlton. Penny, my child, you're more beautiful than ever. I wonder if you'll excuse me, Mrs. Carlton. Why, of course. (laughs) I'll be upstairs if you want me for anything, Penny. I I think I'd better look in and see if Julie's really taking her nap. You better look in on Valerie, too, Mother. She's getting a little hard to keep in the crib. All right. My, but you have a house full of children, haven't you, my dear? Well, they're fun, Mrs. Carlton. You met Julie, and you know how precious she is. The baby's just as adorable. I'm sure she is. Uh, how are you feeling, my dear? I'm all right. Mm, you're not all right, and you know it. Um, have, have you heard from Barry? No, and I don't expect to for a while. My son's a poor letter writer. But if you should get a letter from him and he says anything I should know, you tell me, won't you? Oh, you know I will. Well, I suppose you want to know why I'm here. I'm sure it's for a reason. It is. I want to know about your plans. Don't have any. Oh, but you must make plans, Penny. You haven't stopped living. 
Sometimes I think I have. That's quite a natural reaction. The shock of all this is bound to have had its ill effects. But the reaction gives you a false sense of values. You are going on living, and you will go on living. And a life without plans is no life at all. Well, I'll, I'll go to work or something, Mrs. Carlton. I know I'm only down temporarily. After all, it's only been a few days, and there's been a lot of excitement here. A wedding. Oh, yes, that nice young Freddie Lang and that pretty girl, Nora, I think her name is. Barry spoke of them often. He was very nice to them. But I've been very rude to them. You have to let me know what they need. I want them to have a wedding. Oh, please. no, Mrs. Cotton, that isn't it. I want really... them to have something just the same. So we'll say no more about it. And, Penny, there's something I must do for you. For me? I must do all I can for you, or rather all you let me. And that, I'm afraid, will never be enough to make amends for the heartache I've caused you. You aren't to blame for what happened, Mrs. Carlton. I'm to blame for not telling you and Barry long ago that it would be unwise for him to marry. I waited until he had fallen in love and was about to take a wife. And that was waiting too long. I understand why you waited. The fact that you didn't tell Barry before that he shouldn't marry wouldn't have had any bearing on what happened. We'd have fallen in love just the same. I'm sure you would have. But it would not have been with the same high hopes and lavish dreams for the future. I could at least have spared you part of the heartache you now have. I'm not the only one who has a heartache. I know how Barry must feel. Mrs. Carlton, if you wanted Barry to marry me as much as you said, I know that your heart must be pretty much like mine is. I'm an old woman, Penny. I can withstand a broken heart. I don't have to bear it for very many more years. But you are young, my child. Your heart must be mended somehow, be whole again, so you may know happiness and contentment through the many years that lie ahead of oh, you. My heart will mend itself. Stop taking a little bit already. <laughs> I'm just depressed now. I guess the shock of losing Barry is slowly wearing off. And when it has completely, I'll pick up where I was before I knew Barry. Go on from there. We can't go back in life, my child. Only forward. There's never any going back to things as they were. Because they won't seem the same to you. You're different now. You've had a new experience. And it's the experiences we have that make us what we are. I'll go on, Mrs. Carton, and I'll be all right. Penny, my dear. I say you look well, and you do. Your beauty hides the ugly hurts inside you. I want to wash out those wounds, and quickly... And see you laughing and having a good time with new friends and new hopes. Soon, very soon. That won't be very easy. I loved your son very much. I'm going to make it easy. I want you to go on a long trip. To Europe, maybe. Or better still, to the Far East or South America, where you'll see no, new things. No, I, I can't. That's absolutely impossible. But I'm going to make it possible. The trip is to be a gift from me, and everything that goes with it a gift. The clothes, food, the little added expenses. You will never once have to use a penny of your no, own money. No, please, Mrs. Carlton, don't think I'm ungrateful because I'm not, but I can't let you do it. Mrs. Carlton, I'll, I'll surprise you. I'll be all right again in half the time, you think. Before very long, all the heartache will be gone. Very well, then. If you won't, you won't. But I'm not defeated easily. I'll find some way to help you yet. Oh, the offer's been help enough. However, uh, there is one thing you could do. Yes? I don't think it'd be very smart for me to go on working with you. I'm sure that goes without saying. But you'll see me from time to time. I'd hate to think that this is the end of our friendship. Oh, no, Mrs. Carlton. Our kind of friendship never ends because... Oh, well, I guess because we have a love in common. But I think we have a hope in common, too. Faith that Barry will come home again. And that things will one day be just... It's the doorbell, Penny. Are you home? Yes, Mother, but I'm dressing. All right. Hello, Mrs. Billings. Oh, Johnny, come in. Thank you. How's Penny feeling? A little better. She's dressing for dinner. Oh, 
Well, she's not going out, is she? No, I wish she were, Johnny, but she thought she might feel a little better if she changed her dress for dinner. Oh, well, and she's coming around all right, isn't she? Well, not fast enough, Johnny. Uh, will you stay for dinner? Oh, no, 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 thanks, Miss Billings. I, uh, I, I just dropped by because Jed said he wanted these sketches as soon as possible. Oh, do stay, Johnny. No, I, I don't think it'd be right so soon after... Well... So soon after what happened with Penny and Barry? Well, I think it'd be exactly right. Penny talks when she's around you, and it's better for her to talk than just sit and think. No. You, you sure it's good for me to be around? I'm positive. She'll try to be gay for your sake, and maybe if she tries being gay... Oh, Johnny, maybe I should put it this way. It's something I've wanted to ask you all week. Well, sure, what? Johnny, would you try to help Penny... Why, you know I'll try. It's one of the reasons I'm around. But uh, is it asking you too much if if I ask you to force her out of herself and get her to talk and get this terrible feeling of depression out of her system? Mrs. Billings, you know there isn't anything in the world I wouldn't do for Penny. And I mean that. I mean that even, even knowing the awful truth. Well, what do you mean? Well... Well, I, I guess it's all right to say to you. Of course. You know how I feel about Penny, but... Well, maybe you don't know how much hope I've carried around with me that... Well, that uh, someday Penny and I might... Uh... That someday still might come. Oh, no. Well, uh, that's what I uh, wanted to say, Mrs. Billings. I, I know now there isn't any hope... Barry took my place in Penny's life and in Penny's heart. I'll uh, never be able to take his place. Oh. Then it's wrong for me to ask you to devote any of your time to her, isn't it? Oh, no, no. It's not wrong at all. It's right. And if necessary, I'll devote more than my time to her, Mrs. Billings. I'll devote my life. Will Johnny Keith's devotion to Penny Gibbs fill the gap caused by the loss of Barry Carlton? Or has Penny suffered a tragedy so great that her broken life is beyond repair? Be sure to listen to the next dramatic episode of Hearts in Harmony. KCB. KCB. KCB means Kroger Cut Beef, and Kroger Cut Beef means more meat for your money. Yes, the Kroger Cut by the ruler gives you more meat, less waste. Because before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef by the ruler removes excess bone, excess waste, and stringy ends. In buying Kroger cut rib roast, for example, you don't pay rib roast price for excess bone and waste. The chine bone is trimmed, the waste and short rib end removed, giving you top U.S. government grades of beef that's tender, juicy, rich red, and marbled with just the right amount of flavory fat. And before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess bone, waste, and stringy ends. Remember, whether you buy a steak or roast, Kroger cut beef gives you more meat for your money. But mind you, you can get Kroger cut beef only at your neighborhood Kroger store. So go there as soon as you can. Step up to the meat counter and ask the Kroger meat man for Kroger cut beef. You'll get delicious and juicy and tender beef. And you'll get more meat, less waste. That means you get more meat for your money at your Kroger store. Listen again tomorrow, same time, same station, for another thrilling transcribed chapter of Hearts in Harmony.